Today we're going to talk about a common topic on this channel. It's watering devices for chickens and ducks and we're on our 10th iteration and should finally be our last. So we have had numerous iterations of ways to get water to our chickens and ducks. Let me tell you, it's probably straightforward if you just have chickens because all you really need is some of those nipple waterers or little cups, right? Well, when you introduce ducks, like we have here, they both share the same area, same water, same feed, everything. That adds some complications to it uh, that we've seen throughout the time of having them and the multiple different options of having waterers. Well, we have tried everything. We've tried um, the little clucker uh, watering device, which uh, actually would work great if you just had chickens, or even if you just had a couple ducks in a smaller area and you put on the little cup waters, that are the large cup waters uh, on uh, like half of it, that would work perfect. We've done that before and we did a video on it even. Um, but we, we have probably oh, 15 ducks now or so. We are slowly growing ducks by the minute because uh, we've, inadvertently started our own duck rescue, which we're happy to do. <laughs> but those that, that watering method of little cluckers is just not sufficient for the amount of ducks that we have. And we've tried everything. We even tried connecting uh, a bucket to a line and then to a big pipe with a bunch of those little, you know, large cup waterers. Um, and that just made a mess everywhere because they'd get stuck and they get clogged because there's so many ducks. It was just a mess all the time. So we finally looked at what exactly do we need in a water for our chickens and ducks, right? Well, we came down to a, a short list of what we absolutely need from our waterer. Uh, and the first and foremost is A, that everyone can get water. Not only can our chickens get water, but our ducks and Clarence, our goose, can get water from the same device, basically. Two, uh, it is easily cleanable, so we can clean it, you know, in a matter of seconds if possible or, or just a short period of time whenever we need to. And three, um, it needs to automatically refill. We have so many animals and so much on our plate here that we really try and make everything really as automated as possible. So if that means having an automated waterer, then that's what we need. So uh, we need it to be automated. Well we finally came to a, what I think is the perfect waterer. I know it's been a saga of, of videos and we say that all the time, but I think we have finally found it. So what we ended up doing, as you can tell, is we got a, a large, basically flexible rubber um, pan, kind of a thing that we got at our local feed store. Uh, we drilled a hole in the side of it and then we mounted an automatic filler little device thing. I think it actually came from the little clucker, but you can get them on Amazon. We'll link some below for that, for all the pieces you'll need. And basically we ran a small vinyl tubing from that to a faucet, you know, spigot. And so that way it auto refills. With this, uh, it's deep, has a lot of water. So yes, chickens, ducks, clarence can all use it. Also, we can turn it over, spray it out, and it'll automatically refill and be clean by the time it's full. So it fits all of our needs. And to be honest, we've had this now for, I don't know, three, four months now, and it has worked like a champ. The only time we've had issues with it is because our goats ate part of the vinyl tubing and that's not uh, the water's fault. <laughs> so um, I highly recommend you guys checking this out as an option for your ducks and chickens if you have them, it, or if you just really have chickens, this might be a good option for you. Um, it just depends, but it's at least an option for you. We struggle with uh, ways to, to give water to these guys for a long time, just because we didn't have very many options and they were very limited, the ones we did have. So we hope this provides you with some options for how to get water to your chickens, ducks, geese, whatever fowl you have uh, at your farm. If you guys have any questions about this or anything at all, any comments, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys once again. We truly appreciate it and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.